Being a fan of emulation since the mid 90s, we were completely spoiled with games. On the holy deck with Beverly, crushing her. And even then, we had multiple sequels which kept the games fresh for a whole new audience to enjoy. Many elitists insist that hardware is the way to go. Very hard. And no cheap Pandora box can ever come close to the real McCoy. Can using real hardware achieve perfection? Or will it open another can of worms? This is Emu Chicken of Team Pandory, and Mai here wants you to subscribe. There are two main versions of the classic Neo Geo system. The AES, the console version, and the MVS, which is found inside arcade cabinets. We're going to look into the latter. The MVS has also a few types to choose from. The one slot models run on the standard jammer harness. Two, four and six slot models will require you to alter your jammer harness or use an adapter. They also can hold more than one cart in the machine. We ordered the MV1A. This one has a socketed BIOS chip, so we can switch it out for UniBIOS. It also has an onboard battery to save high scores and game settings. Let's see what... BAM! We've got a box. Um, two, two boxes. Seems that everything's fairly decently wrapped up with bubble wrap and polystyrene. Ew. So this is it. Before we plug her up, I'm just going to check the condition of the board. There are four screws at each corner. Then we can take off the plastic covering. It's a used board, so what is concerning is the age of the capacitors. One capacitor is slightly bulging, and the battery is also due a change. First up, contact cleaner. You can try an AES card in here, but it won't fit. From Yahoo Auction, I ordered King of Fighters 2000. 30 bucks, well spent. Works like a charm. The game loaded instantly. The pixels on the screen are incredibly fine, with no noticeable screen tearing. The biggest shock were the controls. It was like the arcade stick knew what I wanted to push before I actually carried out the movements. Around three weeks later, another package came. This is the MVS 161 in 1, Volume 1, Mark 2. It's green. This one had very good reviews on AliExpress. Let's check it out. Let me just get this out. And then we can stick this in. The game list loads near enough instantly. And using our arcade stick, we can navigate through all 161 titles of clones. It's a pretty comprehensive list. However, some huge titles are missing, such as Metal Slug 5, The King of Fighters 2000, Shock Troopers, King of Monsters 2. Goal, goal, goal. Let's test some games. Straight away we can see a problem. King of Fighters is a one-on-one -on -one fighter here, or it should be 3v3. We can fix that later with the Unibios. To return to the games list, we hold Coin and Start. And let's try King of Fighters 2003. It crashed. How about King of Fighters 98? Same thing again, it's a 1v1 fighter. Strikers Plus seems to be running fine. Metal Slug. 
Oh dear. And it crashes. Here's Metal Slug 2. Believe it or not, the slowdown is how it should be on this system. If we use emulation, we can boost the core to have a nice, smooth experience. If you're using the original hardware, the next best thing is Metal Slug X. These are the same levels as Metal Slug 2, but it uses speed fixes from Metal Slug 3. Next up, Metal Slug 3. Uh, okay, we'll try the hack instead. Is Metal Slug 4? Yeah, this is not Metal Slug 6, it's the Metal Slug 3 hack. Super Sidekicks 2. And now Super Sidekicks 3. Lovely. Baseball Stars 2. Neo Drift Out. Neo Turf Masters. King of the Monsters. Buster move two. Samurai Showdown Five Special. Changing out to the Unibios chip gives us some benefits, such as cheats, hotkeys, and easy access to dip switch settings. Unfortunately, the pick and mix menu does not work on this multi-cart. And to get back to the games list, we need to restart the cabinet rather than holding the hotkey. We'd say that this multi-cart is a bit of a bust. Too many of the included games are buggy and unplayable. These people are talking out of their butt crack. We are glad that we picked up the MVS. While it was very dirty, it was a fun little project. Like other 90s hardware, there's a chance that these machines will rock it up in price. If you want one, now is the time to purchase. Better than a Jammer Pandora's box? Yes, provided you want to deal with maintenance and high prices of the well sought after games. And no, if you use Pandora DX. This has been Amy Chicken. And I'll catch you later. Ta-ra! We'll update a jammer cabinet with it.
Other options would be the central processing unit of my Sundos World Death Star, though that project might take a while.